All right, here we go. Today, today we're dealing with postulates and diagrams as we as we jump into 2.3. Um, really, what I want to start with, I'm going to skip exploration one with you. Maybe you skip that if you want to do it later, you can. But I I want you to start on page 44 of your student journal and exploration two. Now it it continues on to page 43 or excuse me, 45 of your student journal, so it goes through letter, letter M there. Okay, and the essential question, um, what can be assumed and what needs to be labeled? Okay, that's what we're dealing with here. So work with a partner, answer parts A through M, remember it goes on to page 45. We'll come back together here in a few minutes and discuss it. All right, number, or letter A, all points are coplanar. Now it's kind of tough to see like in this picture, but there's an actual outline of a plane here, right? You guys can see it better in your book, I hope. Yeah. Okay, so all points are coplanar, that is? Yes. That is true. Okay, they all lie in the same, or yes, they all lie in the same plane, okay? So, very true. In fact, let me, I'm going to put this key up, it's a little easier to see. All right, there we go. Okay, you can actually see the plane a little more. Okay, the second one, points D, G, and I are collinear. That is no. What? Okay, D, G, and I, there is not a line that connects all three points. We don't see a line going through it. Therefore, it's not collinear. Now, if you actually, like D and G, you could say, and G and I, you could say, and D and I, you can say, because any two points can form a line. But you can't assume that this is a straight line in between those three. Even though it looks like it, you have to actually see the line drawn. Okay? Letter uh, C, A, C, and H are collinear. That is, yes, they all lie on the same line, A, C, and H. Okay? And letter D, E, G, and A, H are perpendicular? The answer is yes. You see the right angle marking right there. Yep. Any questions on that page? Nope. How many got them all? Okay. I missed one. All right, missed one. That's okay. All right. Let's take a look at the next one. BCA and ACD are a linear pair. The answer is yes. Yep. Okay. So we look at BCA. Can't see it. Oops. Thank you. BCA and ACD they form a straight line, linear pair. They form a straight angle there. Letter F is no. AF and BD. AF and BD are not perpendicular because we don't have the right angle marking. So we have to see those markings. Letter G is also no. EG and BD are parallel. We'd actually have to see parallel lines, right? We'd have to see these little markings like this for that to be true. Since we don't have those, we can't say it. Yes? Yeah, I guess it yeah, if you if if we didn't have those, if you had another right angle, you could also say it. Yeah. Yeah. What was F? I don't think I've got to F yet, did I? Oh, yeah I did. No. Yep. Letter H, A F and B D are coplanar. So A F, B D, coplanar. Yes, they both lie in the same plane. Okay, they intersect um, in that plane as well. EG and BD do not intersect. No, if they did not intersect, then they would not, or they would be parallel. There are no markings to show them parallel. Therefore, they will intersect at some point. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying they do not, so they... They do not intersect. Okay? So they actually do intersect, right? What if this is just a poorly labeled... Um... It, it's purposely, yeah. So you guys have to think through it. So, so if we say... Um, so these do not intersect. Is that true? No. No, they don't intersect here, but they'll eventually intersect. So that's a false statement. Yes? Yeah. 
So are you talking about J now? Yeah. So AF and BD intersect. So this intersects that. Right? They intersect right here at point C. Um, okay. And last one, or no, I guess we have a couple more. EG and BD are perpendicular. So EG and BD are perpendicular. Nope. They're not intersecting at a right angle. Let me zoom out there. ACD and BCF are vertical angles. So letter um, L here. ACD, BCF. So we're dealing with that and that. They are vertical angles. Okay. Vertical angles form those opposite rays, you remember. And then AC and FH are the same line. And yeah, AC goes through here. FH goes through here. Okay. They go through those same points. They go on forever, so they represent the same line. Because so all those points are on the same line. Why don't you just get like a one degree angle? If what was? The line. AC is at 50 angles. PF is at an angle. Hmm. They're collinear. They have a line connecting them. So no angle. I know. Darn it. You're saying if it like changed directions kind of? Yeah. Yeah. We don't see that. Okay, any questions? Okay, take a look at your student journal. Go ahead and turn it to page 46, please. On page 46, I want you to read through these postulates. 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 I can't remember what postulate is. Okay, crank through those. Okay, guys, as we practice this stuff today, we're going to be going through these postulates. We have the two-point postulate. We have the line-point postulate. We have line-intersection postulate. Three point postulate, plain line postulate, all these different postulates that you're going to have to reference here. On the next page, we have two more postulates the plain line postulate and the plain intersection postulate. Okay? There are examples here, and there are things that we've already talked about, just put in, in words. words and pictures here. We're, they have names that we're using for those postulates. Okay? So as we take a look at, say, like the bottom of page 47, look at number 1 and 2 there. It says, state the postulate illustrated by the diagram. So go ahead and complete number 1 and 2. Look at your postulates. Try to figure out which ones go with those diagrams there, please. All right. So which postulate? Line point postulate. First one? Line point postulate. You think? Let's look at the line point postulate. Line point postulate says a line contains at least two points. Okay? And two point postulate says through any two points there exa exists exactly one line. Okay? So we start with the points and then we get a line. I think we've got to go with this one, two point postulate. Because you have two points and you can draw a line versus a line containing two points. Here you start with the line and then you have two points on it. Here you have the two points and you can draw a line through it. Okay, so this would be the two-point postulate. Well, I thought the two-point postulate had to only have two points. Well, through any two points contain the line. That confused me. That's what we're talking about. How about number two? Plain line postulate? This is the plain line postulate. Oh, yeah. yeah. Plain line postulate. Okay. Plain line postulate says... Well, let's look at it. If two points lie in a plane, then the line containing them lies in the plane. Okay, we've got a plane line postulate. So we have multiple points in the plane. Okay, through two of those points, we draw a line. We get the plane line postulate. Is it possible for a postulate to be more than one? Like to have like more than one postulate, like one thing? Because couldn't number two also be like a two-point postulate? That, could it be the two point? Oh, so you're saying because there are two points, you can also yeah. state this postulate? Yeah. I can see what you're coming from. But with the plane there, since we're yeah, talking about it within a plane. But yeah. Is it possible for like there to be more than one? Postulate? Yeah, you could you could have more than you could have multiple things you're describing in a picture. I see. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have to be. Line point postulate. No. You're, because here you're starting with a line, 
and you have two points. The other way around, we're starting with multiple points and we're drawing a line through them. Okay, so I think you're getting hung up on the, like there being three points there. Yeah. Yes? Correct. So what does the logical postulate? Correct. And, and there are points on the line. And on the yes. two-point postulate, you don't have to have two points? Yeah, you could have at least, you have to have at least two points for the two-point postulate. That's so confusing. Why is it called a two-point postulate? Because you need to have at least postulate? two points to draw a line. Why can't it be just called a line postulate? This is so confusing. Okay, talk to me about it in a minute. All right. Hey guys, I want we're gonna go ahead and start up. Okay, you got on on the two point postulate. Two point postulate. Through any two points, there exists exactly one line. So you have to have two points, and you could draw a line through it. This is the two point postulate because you have two points that you're drawing a line through. Now I know you see three points there. But think of it as at least two points. You have to have at least two points to make a line. The, I'm telling you that. Okay. The line point postulate says a line contains at least two points. So you have to start with the line. And on that line, once you have the line, there's at least two points on the line. Okay. Yes. Okay, hold on. On this, are we good on, are any other questions on that? Don't want that to be a big sticking point. All right, so let's take a look at the homework. 2.3, practice A, so you're going to practice these postulates, applying them, so make sure you're using your notes. Okay? You have the front there, and then you got some of the stuff on the back. So what's your question, Matt? Um, do we draw numbers 1 through 6, or do we give, like, coordinate points on the little plane? Um, 1 through 6 here, you just, you're referencing the diagram. You don't have to draw. Yeah. Okay, so you could give an example. So, example of the two-point postulate. So, you find an example in here and list it. All right? Okay. Line points. Okay. Very good. Um, it is...